Hello students. In this session, we'll learn how the strength of the soil will be estimated using California bearing ratio test or CBR test. We have known that soil constitutes a essential portion in the payment system. It is majorly used in the preparation of the subgrade. Some of the desirable properties of the soil as in highway materials includes the stability. The soil should possess the adequate stability or it should or resistance to the deformation under the wheel load. And the soil should not be compressible. It should be incompressible in nature upon any change in the volume or upon application of the load. The soil should not undergo any permanent deformation under the load. And the soil should have the permanency of the strength. It should have possess the resistance to weathering action and thus retaining the desired subgrade support. Soil used in the subgrade material should have the minimum changes in volume when it is come in contact with water and should possess stability under the adverse climatic conditions and also the groundwater. And the soil should have a good drainage capability and it should be easy for the compaction. So considering all these things, so we have to check whether the given soil possess the required ability as a subgrade material or not need to be assessed before we choose any soil as the subgrade material. So some of the tests that are conducted to determine the stability or strength of the soils are CBR test and the strength can also be assessed in terms of the plate load test. So we have other some of the other experiments which are used to determine the strength of the soil. It can be the shear strength of the soil and sometimes triaxial UCC can be used to determine the strength of the soil. But for us in the payment application, the strength of the soil will be measured in terms of the CBR value and a plate load test value which will determine the modulus of subgrade reaction K. Okay, these, all be, these two values will be the inputs for the design uh, in the payment system. So we will learn how the strength of the soil will be estimated using these two tests in the further presentation. So in this session we will look how the CBR test will be done. So CBR California bearing ratios test originally developed by the California State Highway Department. This is mainly to evaluate the separate soil and for the evaluate the strength of the base course material for the flexible payment. The, the value of the CBR value will be directly used in the design of the flexible payment. CBR test is an empirical test and it is used to determine the properties of the material. CBR value denotes the resistance of penetration of plunger into the payment materials, it can be soil or some subgrade material under the controlled condition. The CBR is usually value is determined in the laboratory condition on the remolded specimen and we can also use the undisturbed sample which can be extracted from the field and the test can also be conducted on the undisturbed samples. The procedure for determining the CBR value is standardized by the various agency including the BIS. Test setup, the picture here shows the typical set, test setup. So now we can see that we will have the loading frame first on which uh, the uh, load will be applied and then the plunger is there of 50 mm diameter which will cause it which will be penetrated into the soil. And then we have the mounts, okay, into that the soil will be filled inside this mount and the pen, uh, plunger is allowed to penetrate into the soil and we will note down the what is the resistance to the penetration. So some of the, um, so that, that uh, apparatus liquid or the plunger, the diameter will be 50 mm and when the plunger is penetrated in the soil, we will maintain the rate of penetration of 1.25 mm per minute and the load required for penetration of uh, 2.5 mm and 5 mm are recorded. So with these two value, we will determine the CBR value. So CBR value is expressed as the percentage of the standard load value into the standard material. So generally CBR is expressed as CBR as a ratio of 
load sustained at 2.5 mm penetration for a given material divided by load sustained at the same penetration value for standard material so for the standard material irc recommends the load required to cause 2.5 mm penetration is 1370 kg and uh, load required to cause 5 mm penetration is 2.5 kg similarly so if you take it in terms of the uh, pressure value the pressure sustained to cause 2.5 mm penetration will be 70 kg per centimeter square and pressure sustained to cause 5 mm penetration will be 1.5 kg per centimeter square CPR value is generally expressed in terms of percentage. So for the ratio, what we get, multiply it with 100, so that we will get the CPR value in terms of percentage. The test setup consisting of the sieves from the size varying between 2.220 mm size and 5 mm size, a cylindrical specimen which is corrosion resistance mount, having a nominal diameter of 152 plus or minus 0.5 mm, the mould should be fitted to a detachable blaze plate as shown in the figure and the removable extension. The internal face shall be smooth, clean and dry before we prepare the sample. And we should have, we require a compression device, load plus for to apply a static load so that the plunger will penetrate into the soil specimen and uh, we require rammers of 2.5 kg rammers diameter 150 mm and height 300 mm and next we require the metal plunger so we will allow this plunger to penetrate into the soil specimen which is having a diameter of 152 plus or minus 0.5 mm diameter and thickness of uh, 50 plus or minus 1 mm thickness for compacting the specimen, we make use of a rammer of 4.5 kg. Usually for the payment application, CBR will be determined using modified compaction. So we use the heavy compaction. For that, we require 4.5 kg rammer. And when we do the light compaction, we can make use of the rammer of capacity 2.5 kg. And the loading frame here must be attached with the proving ring which will measure what is the amount of load applied and on to this blaze plate we need to attach the dial gauge. Dial gauge measures amount of penetration of plunger into the soil specimen. So generally the least count of dial gauge will be taken as 0.01 mm. And for the proving ring, depending upon the equipment, we will have proving ring constants. So that means that, that if you want to measure what is the load we have applied, we need to multiply the number of division on this proving ring by, by the proving ring constant. With that, we can estimate what is the load applied onto the specimen. But the soil is compacted in the cylindrical mould in five different layer each layer giving the 20 56 number of blows with the compression testing machine and the load is applied we need to measure what is the amount of penetration and we have to note down the corresponding proving ring reading values at various penetration value so once all the apparatus is ready, we need to prepare the specimen for the CBR test. The specimens are the IS2720 part 7 for heavy compaction. And when we, the samples are prepared, the, it has to be prepared at OMC so that the maximum dry density can be achieved. And the specimen are subjected to the 4 day soaking condition to simulate the worst moisture condition that can be expected at the road. So after the four days soaking, the specimens are now ready for the CBR test. After that, the specimens are placed under the plunger of a loading frame and we have to measure load value corresponding to penetration of 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2.5, 3, 4, 5, 7.5, 10 and 12.5 mm penetration. After the completion of the test, load penetration graph is plotted. 
load penetration graphs are plotted by taking penetration value on the x axis and load value on the y axis typically two types of graphs are obtained in the cbr test the first type will be having the graph lying with the convexity upward the second will initial a second type the initial concavity will be there followed by the convexity upward so here when we obtain the initial convex concavity it is noted that the correction is applied so this will generally happen when there is no proper contact between the plunger and the specimen at that conditions we need to apply the correction so correction is applied by drawing a tangent at the point where the con concavity changes to convexity and this will be the corrected origin for us after plotting the graph we need to measure what is the load value corresponding to the 5 mm penetration and 2.5 mm penetration so this had to be read from the graph let the load corresponding to 2.5 mm penetration is p1 load corresponding to 5 mm penetration will be the p2 value so now using these values we need to find out what is the cbr value cbr as we stated earlier we have to calculate as the load divided by the current load for causing the 2.5 mm penetration divided by the standard specimen for the pointer specimen the value will be the 131350 for 2.5 penetration so similarly and it has to be multiplied by 100 similarly we need to obtain the value for cbr at 5 mm penetration that will be p2 divided by 2055 into 100 so which will gives you the uh, cbr value at 5 mm penetration now for the given specimen the cbr test has to be conducted for uh, the average of 6 trials has to be taken so generally the cbr value for 2.5 mm will, will, uh, will be higher than the 5 mm penetration after the average of in the average of 6 trial if the cbr of uh, 5 mm penetration comes to be higher then the test has to be repeated for another 6 specimen and then we have to accept the cbr value obtained for the 5 mm penetration in case where we have the corrected origin so this we have to measure the 2.5 from this particular point so from the from the where the origin has shifted from this we have to measure 2.5 from this point and 5 mm from this point and we have to measure what is the load corresponding to from here it will be 2.5 and measure 5 mm from this corrected origin and find out what is the pressure sustained at these two value these two value will be the p1 and p2 if we get origin correction note down the value of p1 and p2 from the graph and measure cbr value based upon these values and what cbr value we get from this experiment will be directly used in the design of the flexible payments in the next session we'll see how the strength of the soil will be assessed using the plate load test thank you